Oh, hey. Shadow 5 has a new video. I am shameless. I am fearless. I am doubtless. Because fear in the present moment is fear. Fear in the past is shame. Fear in the future is doubt. So when you cup another dude's nuts, you're sending good vibrations, good chi, spiraling up the back, down the front of each testicle. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, baby! They're your batteries. So when you focus on your testicles, you're literally charging your batteries. And of course, you're probably the first guy in your family lineage who's doing shit like this, at least for hundreds of years. So of course the shame's gonna come up. Of course the fear is going to come up and of course the doubt's going to come up. So I always just tell my students, say, what do your balls feel like right now? Smile into that feeling. <sighs> really staying grounded in your nuts and your body and your feet. <sighs> Good. And then you reach for the nuts and you basically cup the nuts and you appreciate the nuts. Can you kind of feel the Reiki energy leaving my palm shocker into your ball sack? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And we take three deep breaths through the mouth. And then you say, I see you, brother. I see you, brother. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And then you give them a hug. Nice. You smell good. Thanks, man. You smell pretty good, too. My name is Will Blunderfield. We're in my apartment in Vancouver, Canada, and I teach sexual kung fu. So it's the daily. You can just be gay. Like, that's okay. You don't have to turn it into some type of weird guru, let me grab your nuts and change your life kind of thing. The discipline of harnessing and directing your sexual energy from your loins up into the rest of your system rather than constantly just shooting it out like most guys do. Some people are like, well, you're saying that, you know, you should love yourself as you are. Why are you encouraging guys to grow their cocks? But I'm just saying, let your cock and your balls fully exist in the form that they're meant to exist in beyond the poisoning. The sad truth is that cock size is the smallest it's ever been in recorded history. So my holistic approach is a three pillar thing. It's about getting the pesticides and the microplastics out of your body through superfoods and detoxification protocols. Then it's actually sexual kung fu techniques, like pulling, literally like taking the coconut oil and milking your penis down 50 times, up 50 times, left 50 times, right 50 times, and straight out 50 times every day. My balls used to be the size of like, enlarge, like slightly bigger than an almond, and now they're both the size of like a Brazil nut. And it's great to be able to feel that. And it's also great to be able to lengthen the penis. Easiest way to really come into the, the penis in terms of lengthening it, you literally just make an okay grip and you just pull it, pull it down. The penis and the tongue are the uttermost extensions of the heart. In classical Chinese medicine, you're just like ah. Traditionally, you sit naked. My teacher, Montauk Chia, taught me this. Later on, we're going to talk a lot about screwing technique. Literally focus your consciousness <laughs> into your nuts because energy flows where the mind goes. There's also something that my teacher, Troy Casey, taught Can me. It's called not? testicle slapping. Can we not? <laughs> so you do this for maybe two minutes. Not too hard, not too easy, just right. Mixing the blood and the chi in your balls, increasing your testosterone, which will increase your manhood. And then you take the energy of nature. <sighs> Okay, so I don't know why I flushed the toilet, force of habit, but anyway, so this is Shivambu. Mm -mm. No! No! Mm, good. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it, crazy white man! No! No, don't drink your own pee! Stop drinking your own pee! Jesus fucking Christ! I need a second. I need a... Okay. Alex Jones is to pay a billion dollars. Alex Jones is to pay a billion dollars. Okay, fine. Alex Jones is to pay a billion dollars. Alex Jones is to pay a billion dollars. Stop looking at me! Ugh! Jesus. Oh my God. I am broken as a oh man. I got my beard. I eat carrots, uh -huh. organic carrots, because they make me feel good. I drink my piss because it makes me feel good. Can you tell us what same-sex erotic bonding is? Yeah, same-sex erotic bonding is when uh, two men or a group of men come together to do things that this culture would say would be like homosexual. For example, two men hugging heart to heart with the cocks touching, breathing and 
doing our best to stay in a parasympathetic state of being rather than going into stress mode. The first time was definitely really challenging to really be present with actually observing my yeah. brother's body and being present with him watching me. The more you do it though, the more you spend time with each other too, the more you can actually just observe and witness the person for everything they've gone through. It's no different than any other part of their body, so yeah. why not give them some appreciation, send them some love. Brother, you've got a beautiful cock. You got a beautiful cock, baby. Thanks, brother. <laughs> got gotcha. And then you hug heart to heart because the heart is on the left side of the body with the cocks touching. When I started hanging out with these guys, and it's not just Will, there's other people in Vancouver who are also engaging in, in these kind of practices. My assumption was like, oh, they must be gay. Oh, they must want something from me. It took a few years to finally build that trust with these guys that, oh, they're not trying to like subtly manipulate me and Maybe they are gay underneath, but they're not acknowledging it. Yes, yes, that's what they're doing. You figured it out. How did you figure it out, but you didn't? No, they're all, they're gay underneath. This is a, this is a weird gay cult, bruh. Subtly manipulate me, and maybe they are gay underneath, but they're not acknowledging it. Whether we call ourselves gay or straight or trans, like, we think that these labels make us all so unique and that they're so important, when really to me they're just tools that the Matrix uses to divide us and control us. Because I feel like we're so much more than just one little word. But if you're gonna call me something, call me a faggot. And then Facebook sensors go off and I'm in Facebook jail now for 30 days. Uh, plus I talk about medical freedom, so it's like a double whammy for me. Oh my god, the wild naked man denies uh, the existence of viruses and he just like talks about all this crazy shit that I didn't learn about and I've been going to med school for five generations, okay? <sighs> Did you actually read the links that I sent? Oh my god, just accept that you're gay! Yes! You're gay, you're gay, you're gay, honey. The word that I was called most in high school was faggot. And I just love the intensity of that word. And I guess it's like how some black people reappropriate the N-word. Yeah. I like to reappropriate the faggot. So you experienced like a lot of bullying in school and stuff like that? Yeah, it was pretty bad. Like people would like draw cocks in my mouth on my student council posters. And I guess they assumed that I was gay because I was a singer. I remember I was living in Manhattan and I was dating this guy. <laughs> and I guess they assumed that I was gay because I was a singer. I remember I was living in Manhattan and I was dating this guy. I think maybe people were assuming you were gay because you were dating a guy. I don't know. Um, also, you are gay. So, um, yeah, gay cult. So, yeah, homie, you, <laughs> you're in a gay cult, bruh. Definitely have same-sex attraction. And it's interesting, when I do things like detox from glyphosate and atrazine, mm -hmm. I start to feel an increase in a procreative urge. The testes tingle around beautiful women, whereas before they were completely, I was cut off from them. The more I retain my seed, the more I eat well, the more I do same-sex erotic bonding, the more pussy I want to eat. Rewilding is reconnecting to Mother Earth. Uh, a lot of yogic lineages that are really popular these days, like Kundalini is all about connecting to the third eye and to heaven and to other dimensions. Oh but the thing I love about rewilding and sex kung fu, it's about connecting to your balls, your cock, dude. your tribe, and Mother Earth. It's kung fu. It's about connecting to your balls, your cock. He is so uncomfortable right now. You can tell he's uncomfortable just because he's like holding his head. He's like, uh-uh, this is... Uh -uh. This is some bullshit. Andrew's got me doing some bullshit. Semen retention. So that doesn't mean you never ejaculate. It means that you increase the time between ejaculating. I mean, if we think about it, a whole new baby can be created from an ejaculation. So if we're just constantly ejaculating, we're kind of wasting our life force. Mm -hmm. So I teach them how to separate orgasm from ejaculation. Mm -hmm. So then they can choose when they want to come ejaculate or shunt that energy upwards. So when's the last time that you um, ejaculated? Last night. What? Yeah, I can actually show you. This is, this is pretty intense. So me and my buddy Brian did a new moon ejaculation ritual. We wrote what we wanted to let go of and we ejaculated onto it. So it was actually very powerful and then we let it dry. That's his, his is a bit more intense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
With the recent ejaculation ceremony we did, my intention was to purge uh, certain energies or certain narratives. Then we do some sex kung fu, so testicular breathing, and then we draw up some of that energy as we're um, stimulating ourselves, as we're exciting ourselves, so that all the sexual energy doesn't get poured out of the ejaculate. I have to and then eventually back. we bring ourselves to full. I have to. I'm sorry. Draw, I gotta recent. do it. That's his. His is a bit more intense. What the fuck is that? So it was actually very powerful, and then we let it dry. That's his. His is a bit more, more intense. Oh. You got. Oh, bruh. Oh, I can smell it. <laughs> With the recent ejaculation That's ceremony his. we did, my intention was to purge uh, certain energies or certain narratives. Then we do some sex kung fu, so testicular breathing. And then we draw up some of that energy as we're um, stimulating ourselves, as we're exciting ourselves. Men. And if the world's male leaders did this work together, I believe there'd be a lot more peace and camaraderie. Yeah. 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 I'd be so mad if I was this fat dude and I'm just sitting here staring at nothing but dick the whole time. 